Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I am Rufal, waking up for you. Woo! Where in blazes? This doesn't look like the Temple of Time. Where? What? Navi, I don't think we're in Hyrule anymore. What the? Is this purgatory? Four patterns look vaguely like the temple. Oh, hello! Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, yeah. Heard about that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry about letting him in, um... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, got a mirror handy? Oh, good golly. Oh, why, well, thank you. Wait a second. So if I had left that thing in, 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 the, in the pedestal, Ganon could have never gotten here because he can't touch the sword, which was necessary for, get, for opening the way to the Sacred Realm. Oh great, I've officially screwed up everything. Why would that matter? Wait, the sword sealed me away for seven years? Okay... Sure... Uh-huh. Yeah, I kind of gathered that from the laughter. Well, where were you? Hero of time because I because I was able to pull the sword, but whatever. Yes. Okay. How do I keep your spirit with me? You're not going to just give it to me, are you? What? Ooh, shiny object. I like. Yay! Now, well, sounds like the responsible thing to do, since it's apparently my fault. Well, how bad could it be, ultimately, huh? I mean... Well, there's the... pedestal. It... It's very dark. I don't know, Navi. Oh, yeah, I guess I did outgrow some of this stuff. 
That sounds like a good idea. We got a lot of work ahead of us. And what more could go wrong? This is not what I need right now. Waiting for me for what purpose? Legend does this, uh, these words do not, uh, do not reveal your purpose in being here to me. Your parents were incredibly inventive with your name, weren't they? Hey, you want this sword? It kind of trapped me away for seven years. I'm not very fond of it right now. Well, are you going to help or hinder? know me. I've not introduced myself. Well, that's a lead. Guess we'll have to look into that one then. Let's get out of here, Navi. Gotta see just how bad things are. Holy cow. Jeez, you get sealed away for seven years and they change everything. Go figure. Well, the market's just as lively as ever. Fortunately, I'm deaf to their screams. And while there is someone we could talk to in here, we can't actually do anything for, for him right now, so it would just be a waste of time. Ah! Of course, now I'm in an adult body, it is a little bit more difficult to move around. So much more tiring, because I've got so much more body mass. I need some kind of transportation. Horses sound applicable. Let's go see what they got going on at the ranch. Maybe Malin and Talon recognize me. Anybody here? Hello there, young lady. Uh, around. Dangerous then. Wait a minute. What happened to Talon? Right. So he'll treat the horses badly if you misbehave? What? Uh, that's just not a good way to do business. Oh well, let's go say hi to the man. That's a very silly outfit you're wearing there, sir. I don't know anything about that. 
I do know about that. What I do? Okay. Sounds like a plan. I would like to ride your fine horses. Here you go, sir. Ah, uh, I already know how to ride a horse, thankfully. So we'll just skip all that dialogue. Oh, uh, first things first. Epona, 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 come here. Hey there, girl. Huzzah! We could have taken that, that horse next to him, but uh, that horse is actually far weaker than Epona. For one, it can't even it can't clear that fence. At present, my goal is to jump the fences well enough to get to collect the blue rupees hidden above them. That way, we get our money back. And now that we've gotten both of them. Come speak. We'll come speak to Mr. Ingo again. Who will give who will give us more information about how to ride. Or how to dismount. Ah, we have met before. Well, that's what we're doing. Yes, I am done. Cause well, in order to make stuff happen, we need to ride around the corral twice. Claim our money again. Oh! Tona, I need you to jump, please. Of course, you have to approach the, the fence straight on, on to get the jump. It's far more hassle than. It becomes far more of a hassle later. I'll go speak to Mr. Ingo again. Hello, sir! One lap around the corral with that horse. Now you only have- now you only- you're only out the, the rupees if you lose. With that being said... He goes kind of a jerk. First we need to fake him out so we can... Ah. Uh, Hopefully, we get on the inside. Once you're in front of him, everything becomes a lot easier. However, we have to race him twice. After all, the first one is just a friend we wager. Now it's for reals. But uh, to that end, he's a lot more difficult to race this time. And he will run that horse into the ground. <laughs> so hopefully we can just get in front of him. There we go! Huzzah! Yup!
Because I'm kind to the horses. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that could be a bit of a bother. Yes, Navi? Yeah, we should. But uh, we're gonna have to get away from this ranch first. And piss off some birds. Uh, this would be a problem if it wasn't for that. While you're riding a pony, you're invulnerable. So, uh... I've done this. The worst thing I can possibly do is is climb off. <laughs> How are we gonna get out of here? Well, answer is pretty simple. Those fences aren't as tall as they look. Huzzah! And now we don't have to walk anymore. Well, let's go back to the ranch and gloat at Mr. Ingo. Because we can! Aha! Oh, hey, you changed your clothes. Hi! Dang, that's one heck of a turnaround. Hey there, Melon. I'm Rufal. Yes, I am. Yes, I do. You've grown up considerably, too. As has a Pona, for that matter. <laughs> Yes, what happened there? I bet. Cool. Oh, you're welcome. And, now that we've done all that, we can engage in the obstacle course if we wish. <laughs> Time me for two laps. And yes, it is pretty challenging. Since it's a matter of going around the corral and jumping fences. Sure, we'll, I will give it one shot. Now if we can beat the 50 second record, and I do mean beat, you need to come in with a time of 49 seconds, then, and you get a, and you get a reward, or you get a prize, I should say. Let's see how this goes. Father! Well, that fucks that. Oh well. Well, now that I've skipped a fence, I've just, I've basically been disqualified, but they won't actually tell us that until we cross the finish line anyway. Oh well. The prize for winning is that you get a cow delivered to your house in the Kikori village. Yeah, I did. It's really not at all worth it. <laughs> the actual reason I failed was because I didn't approach the, the fence with enough speed. 
but whatever. But no, I'm not going to do that again. I have other places I need to be. That's, uh, that will do for now. Next time, we'll go to Kakario and see about saving the world. We'll see you then. Later. <laughs>